Hello from Jonathan and from me, welcome to the programme. First tonight, tributes to the broadcasting giant Nicholas Parsons, who's died at the age of 96. He was, of course, famous for hosting Anglia TV's Sale of the Century back in the 1970s and early 80s, a show that often had more than 20 million viewers. He'd also chaired the BBC radio show Just a Minute ever since it began in 1967. Well, Kate Prout is in a place uh, which had particular, should I say, significance for Nicholas. Kate. Yeah, welcome to Studio A. Today there are no longer glamour models advertising prizes of mini metros and golf clubs and the such like. But it was from here that the most popular quiz of its time was beamed to the nation. And today there have been lots of warm tributes from right across the broadcasting world to the undisputed star of that quiz show, Sale of the Century, and that is Nicholas Parsons. <laughs> And now, from Norwich, it's the Quiz of the Week. The charming, immaculately dressed host of Sale of the Century for 12 years, between 1971 and 1983. And welcome to the sale of the century. The, bargains the popular quiz was watched by up to 22 million viewers some weeks and made Nicholas Parsons a household name. Former Anglia TV continuity announcer Katie Glass spent years working alongside him. He was full of charisma and he was actually what probably people aren't aware of. He was actually just a very nice man. And he, I found him very touching because you'd chat over makeup or whatever. And he never failed to ask after my children. He remembered their names. He remembered little incidents about your life. So his interpersonal skills were absolutely top notch. And I was very fond of him for that because, you know, you don't expect somebody who's as busy as that to remember the people that he works with on a daily basis and their those kinds of things. He was very congenial. Marjorie. A muff. Yes. Which, yes, Marjorie. Sorry, I pressed in twice. Oh, that's all right. Excitement. I didn't say anything. <laughs> just, a, just a nervous itch, don't worry. A few years ago, Nicholas returned to Anglia House in Norwich to revisit the Sale of the Century studio and meet an old colleague. When Sale of the Century was made here, this studio was run as a tight ship by head technician Wally Sparrow. Now retired, he wanted Hello. to catch up with the star presenter. Gosh, it's looking well. Thank you. Still working? No. Good? No. no. I actually minute. still keep in touch with the boys and girls here. Right, yes. Who are few and far between now, mm. as is evident by this empty studio, of course. Oh, no. We all became mates, didn't we? Yes. We used to, we used to pull each other's leg a lot. They were, they, were, they, were, they were a good lot. It was regional first, I recall. That's right. And then we networked it for several years. 14 record years, yes. I recall we used the Miss Anglia winners as the models for the... Well, for, well some of them anyway. Not it's only them, we did use some of them, but, uh, I mean, it did get a reputation for having pretty girls as hostesses, and yes. uh, I think people would think it's a little politically incorrect now. Ten years ago, our very own Natalie Gray asked Nicholas why he thought the programme was so successful. In show business, there's a certain amount of luck in all these things. But there was a vacancy on the network then for a new, innovative quiz show. And Sale of the Century was very interesting. It had all the elements that make for a good quiz. After a career spanning seven decades, Nicholas Parsons will be remembered as the king of the quiz show who put Norwich on the map. Hello, everybody, and welcome once again to the sale of the century. Well, one of the faces you saw in my report there was Wally Sparrow. Uh, and also, you're carrying something very familiar in your hand. What's this you've got here? Well, you saw in the introduction, I think, the programme, Nicholas going to a small motor car with a guest, with the person who'd won the, the competition. And this was the microphone he was using. We didn't have radio microphones in the early days of Sale of the Century, so you had to have a microphone trailing a cable across the floor. So, and somebody was clearing the cable away from the cameras and so on behind the cameras. Well, I hope you had permission to take our property away with you, but we'll, we'll pass over that. Well, we'll pass uh, over that, shall we? Because, I mean, that is a relic. You wouldn't know what it, most people would see. What's that? What was Nicholas like to work for? Because you worked with him for so many years. Yes, he was very professional wanted to do things right all the time and got very upset if things went wrong 
or if one of the technicians or a camera fell over or something happened, it upset him because he wanted it done properly all the time. As you say, he wanted things done properly, and I think that's why he worked right until up to the end at the age of 96. Wally, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And today we did say goodbye to a genuine TV legend. We really did. Nicholas Parsons, who has died at the age of 96. Well, next from us, there's 